My name is Tony Janata, and this is my series, Everybody Sings. I call it Everybody Sings because, as I keep saying, everybody does. We're born singing. Uh, so if you want to sing, don't let anybody stop you. Please keep singing. In this mini vocal production lesson, I want to talk about the shape of your mouth when you sing. I think that the shape of the mouth is like the horn of a trumpet. If you have ever heard a muted trumpet, it's a very cool, beautiful sound. It doesn't sound quite like a trumpet anymore, but it is a trumpet and it's softer. So if you're, if you have the comparison of a trumpet's horn and a vocalist's mouth, you might see where I'm going. If we kind of mute our mouth, people aren't going to hear us as well. Now, a trumpet player tells a story with the notes. A singer also tells a story with lyrics. It doesn't always have to be lyrics when you're singing a song. But most of the time, the storytelling is words and music. So you want to be able to hear what the person is saying. So if I started singing, happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. I mean, you, you, you know that it's happy birthday, but if I sang at the same volume and simply pronounced my words, it would sound Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you. You'd hear more and you'd hear those words. If you've ever been to musical theater, you hear every word that singer is singing. And if you've noticed, most of musical theater artists, tall, short, big, small, they are athletes. So. As I've said before, you build a strong body, you're going to have a strong voice. And that strong voice will have a strong and long singing life. Um, so once again, when you're singing, don't sing like this, sing like this, pronounce your words. Another typical novice, I, I do it even now, problem is getting nervous and closing your jaw. You must drop your jaw. So if you're singing, open a new window, open a new door, is different than open a new window, open a new door, drop the jaw. We hold tension in our jaw. We hold tension in our throat. You must breathe in from your diaphragm, including the back. Push that air up and out through the throat. Relax the jaw and send it out your head. From here down is where you're tense. From here up, and that includes your shoulders, your throat, and your jaw. Just send the sound up. It's almost like an isometric exercise, right? I've got two hands, but I'm only working with one, or just one finger, at least I'm trying, just one finger. Tension here, relaxation here up through the head, drop your jaw, and pronounce your words. I hope that helped you. Uh, please leave comments in the comment section and ask me if there's anything you want to hear about. Even tell me, Tony, this doesn't work for me, or I'm not getting anything out of it. I want to know this, and I'd be happy to, to, to uh, make a little mini lesson about that because I want to put things out there that help people.
So thank you for dropping by. Practice. And when you're done, practice some more. And never allow anybody to stop you from singing. Thanks for dropping by. I hope I see you soon. Bye for now.